Thank you for stopping by today. I'm going to be cooking up a tomahawk steak with a little Santa Maria twist. Let's get going. We're going to kick this off with a rub. Start off with some kosher salt. I'll have all the ingredients listed below. Some granulated garlic, some cayenne pepper, chopped dehydrated onion and celery seed, some ground black and white pepper, lid on this, shake it up. And there we are. Okay, now we're going to make a basting liquid. I have here three cloves of peeled garlic. I'm just gonna smash these cloves. Some kosher salt, just to sprinkle on a little kosher salt. This is going to obviously flavor, but it's going to also act as like an abrasive. I'm just going to use the edge of my knife and kind of grind it in. We want to make a paste out of this. This is pretty much what we're looking for. Let me get that scooped up. Just a quick wipe on the cutting board. Now I have some red wine vinegar, some canola oil. Blood that garlic. Get this whisked up with a fork. That's good. And I went ahead and made like a basting brush with some fresh rosemary, just tied it together. We'll be using this to baste the meat. Let's go ahead and season that steak. All right, I have here a 2.9 pound, I'm calling it a three pound USDA prime Tomahawk ribeye, beautiful steak, very, very thick. And just check out the marbling on this thing. She's a beauty. Just gonna take that seasoning we just made, give it a nice liberal application here. It's a very thick steak, it can handle some flavor. Lay some on the cutting board here. Get it on the edges. There we go. So today I'm going to be cooking on the Centera Pro Series Fireside Grill, an amazing cooker. The center here is open grate. So I have lump charcoal on half of this grate here, no charcoal on this side a bunch of nice big chunks of California red oak. This is a flat top. This rim is actually a flat top. And my strategy is I'm gonna do a nice forward sear, get those really defined grill marks. And then we're going to kind of use indirect cooking after that. I'll be cooking on this side and over here on the flat top to kind of finish off that really nice overall sear. Now I hit the grate and the flat top with canola oil. And I will be cooking to temp here. I have an instant read thermometer and when this reaches 125 Fahrenheit, I'll be pulling it off, letting it rest. Okay, now we're gonna go, ooh, look at that. And we're going to go for that, again, that kind of indirect cooking now. Although there is no charcoal on this side of the grill, there is plenty of heat, believe me. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get the bone over that direct heat so we can get the bone, bone cooked off. I'm going to go ahead and take some of that basting liquid we made. I want a nice even cook on this, so I will be doing a lot of flipping.
Now because only half of this grate has charcoal, I also have different zones on the flat top portion too. Obviously right here is going to be the hottest and it's going to start cooling as we get towards the rear. One thing that I should have been paying a little bit more attention to when I was buying this steak, it's not that big of a deal, but you see how this bone, how it, how it curves? It's kind of preventing this portion underneath here making really good contact. So something to think about. Try to find those nice straight bones. So basically what I'm doing is just flipping this like once every minute, 90 seconds. All right, we are done. I'm going to allow this to rest. Then we're going to slice this up, give you guys a try. And here's that steak all rested up. You can see it's got a killer sear on it. Smells really good. Let's see how we did. There we are. Nice, medium rare. Tenders all get out, <laughs> wow. And here we are. Now, one other thing, in Santa Maria, your beef is going to be served up with a really nice salsa fresca. Let's give this a try, I'm excited. You can see, I mean, just a beautiful color, nice consistent cook, not a lot of gray, and that crust is unbelievable. Cheers. <laughs> Reggie didn't bring any forks. I'm just gonna go caveman here. A little salsa on there. I mean, this beef is so rich that the salsa is a really nice touch. Like I said, I've had this a lot with, you know, tri-tip. Never, I've never done this with uh, ribeye before. Wow. Great cook. But Fireside is probably the most entertaining cooker I have. I did a birthday party for my sister-in-law the other night we made carne asada and tacos and it was it was it was just fun and we you know warmed up the tortillas on the flat top and used that kind of table ram around it as a buffet i mean it was just a perfect night anyway guys thanks for stopping by please subscribe if you haven't make sure you ring that notification bell thumb up the video if you like it helps my channel grow it keeps me motivated see you on the next video and let's see, uh, people want to know, we're drinking Kona Brewing. It's big wave. Good stuff. Cheers.